Hello, uh, welcome back for another lecture. This lecture, we're going to go ahead and design a single plate uh, shear connection. So take a look at the problem that I have on the board. We have a beam W16 by 50. We want to connect it to a column of W14 by 90. Both still are FY50 uh, KSI, but the plate that we're going to use for connection is welded to the column, and uh, uh, we're going to be bolted to the uh, 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 beam. We're going to go ahead and analyze the, uh, the connection, uh, the bolted connection here. And the end reaction for the beam is uh, dead load is 15 kips and uh, life load is uh, 20 kips. All right, so be first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and calculate our load based on both uh, ASD and load resistant factor design. Our RU, it's going to be uh, 1.2 times uh, 15 kips plus 1.6 times 20, and that gives us uh, 50 kip. RA, it's going to be basically adding both of them. It's going to be 15 plus 20 is equal 35 step we're going to go ahead we're going to go to the table uh 1010 10, uh 1010a 10, and uh, we're going to say that our plate has a four row of uh, bolt and take a look at the table 1010 10, and you want to familiarize yourself with this table as we has indicated in our problem we're going to use three quarter inch diameter bolt which is right on the table and then one of the thing about this table 10 is make sure it's a single plate connection that which this table indicate. And then uh, 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 you come down here, there is a uh, column N, and make sure your column is uh, four. We can, we, we're going to use four row of a bolt. And then we're going to come into the next group of bolt, which is a group A. And the thread type is N. And then it's going to be the standard type hole. So once you have done that, and then we're going to go to the plate thickness. Our, in our problem, the plate is given uh, one quarter inch but let me give you a word of advice if you ever did be you just start designing shy away from the minimum plate go someplace like 516 or even 7 a 716 it, it pays off so anyway um we're going to use a one quarter inch plate here and we're going to see that lfrd the uh is 52.2 kips and asc is 34 we have a uh, feed time Rn came out to 52.2, uh, which is kip, which is bigger than 50. And uh, our uh, in ASD, uh, in ASD we have Rn divided by omega came out to 34.8 kips, which is almost as a 35 kips. You can say okay or not okay. It's all depending on your comfort level. If I had to design this, I wouldn't use one quarter inch uh, plate. I would use uh, uh, the next size up so I don't have to be in this predicament. But for this example, let's go ahead and use one quarter inch. Our beam is uh, uncoped. That means we did not cut anything out of here so to make them fit. And uh, if we look at the ASC 10-1, page uh, 1010, it tells us LAV should be one and one quarter and LEH should be one and three quarter. And if we go to table 1010 10 again, take a look at it on the screen. In the bottom part of that table, you can see it says the beam web available strength per inch thickness. So the quantity is given as kip per inch. That means if we have to convert it back to a kip, they have to multiply by the uh, web uh, thickness. So when we look at this table, right down bottom of the table for uncoped, you can see both for LASD and allowable, I mean for load resistant factor design, uh, the number has been given. In our case, it's uh, 351. So we're going to go ahead and uh, our uh, support uh, beam web here, which is W16 by 15. And uh, we're going to go ahead and back to that table at the bottom of the table, which is uncoped. Our number is going to come out to uh, phi. V time Rn 
actually comes out to that number that we have down there for RFRE is uh, 351 multiplied by the thickness TW. So TW for here came out to be uh, 0.38. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this by 0.38, and that comes out to 133.4. So 133.4 is bigger than 50. No issue with the web handling that much shear. And, and, but for the plate, because it's smaller and, 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 and thinner, it's just right at the limit of it. So, and again, for uh, um, ASD, going to be Rn divided by omega comes out to 234 times 0.38. Uh, came out to 88.9 kip, which is bigger than 35 kip. Our plate size kind of come out to be, uh, we know it's one quarter inch, rather be bigger. And uh, we had our L vertical was one quarter inch. And these spacing is a standard spacing, is a three inch apart, so you got nine inch. Let me just add it up here, that's nine. Plus, and we said L V was. Uh, LV was uh, one and one quarter, one and one quarter, so plus two times of one and one quarter, so that makes it two and a two, and uh, half, that makes it 11 and a half. So 11.5, that's 11, uh, let's put that on first, 11 and a half. And then in here, the horizontal was, uh, LE uh, horizontal was one and three quarter on this side, one and three and core on the other side, and uh, that will give you uh, two, three, and you got this gap here, so five will do. So we're gonna have it played by five inch, by uh, nine and uh, 11 and a half, 11 and a half. So this is our plate size with four hole and uh, A36 steel. It's really pretty simple if you use the standard on a uh, table and nothing to it, and just go ahead and figure it out like this.